Hi there beautiful people of YouTube, this is Bahamut Raven and welcome to this new episode of Let's Play Fire Emblem Path of Radiance in the last map. We engaged the Dane forces outside Fort Pinell and we actually conquered that place by defeating another one of the four riders. Let's see what the story has well in store for us. Without further ado, let us head into chapter 27. Now as you can see, I actually played this map already because I did a little bit of a playtest and I actually uh, started working on chapter 28. But I am not sure if I'm going to use um, that other playtest as, um, as a video because I have recorded it. But depending if this video actually turns out a little, you know, better, maybe, I'll decide whether or not using this or um, the other one. So basically, if you see this commentary of mine, it's the second take. Anyway, I'm going to uh, show all the cutscenes and whatnot, then I'm going to switch to this file because I've already done battle preparation and everything, so let us go in. Okay, my TV has a volume of zero. Of all the battles in the war so far, the contest for Fort Pinell is the fiercest to date. And from its disorific clash of weapons and wills, the Crimean army emerges bloody and exhausted, yet victorious. Yeah, by the skin of our teeth, considering how we risk to lose not one but two units, I think. <laughs> the prize of Fort Pinell is no small thing, but it is the promise of additional reinforcements from Gallia and the large Banyan army encamped in Castle Dane that keeps the breath of hope alive in the soldiers' hearts. There is one more, one other pivotal piece in Dane's defense of the former Crimean capital, the severely undermanned Castle Nados. As the days, as the day, ugh, sorry, <laughs> as the days end draws near, the bottom small force of hawks and galleons cease to the, their attack and return to camper quarters. Alright, this works for me. Also, if you hear some, uh, like, vent noise in the background, it's because I actually had to turn my vent on. It's too hot in here. Chapter 27, Moment of Fate. Woo, this is going to be the chapter, right? Ah, well met. From the looks of things, the battle ended in, your, in our favor. We claim victory, yet Dane had more troops than we expected, and it was a hard-fought battle. Well, yes and no, Ike. I don't have the best news to report either. What is it? As the day ended, we withdrew as planned, but as we were leaving, reinforcements began flooding in from the capital. Uh-oh. Hmm, that's a piece of ill news. The men that were originally guarding the castle were nothing special, but... There was one who appeared mid-battle and crushed an entire unit by himself. He was so much stronger than the others, as if it was a wolf that I, as if it, oh, sorry guys, I'm tongue tied today. <laughs> he was so much stronger than the others, it was as if a wolf had appeared in a, in a kneel of blind newborn pups. What did he look like? He was covered from the toe to tip in black armor. That made it difficult to judge his size, but I think he was bigger than me. If my intuition is right, he is the villain you all been talking about. So the Black Knight is a Castle Nados. Perfect, two birds with one stone. The Black Knight, he's in that castle. Looks that way, my friend. It looks that way. Okay, so this is the battle report for last chapter. Oh, we actually got some bonus experience. How nice. How very nice. Okay, uh, let's move on. No death injuries and blah blah blah. Okay, so... um. Much like I said, uh, I've already done battle preparation in the other file, so the other thing that I will do is basically switch to the um, to the next cutscene. So I'll see you I'll see you later after this cutscene rolls rolls out. General Like, please come with me. We're getting ready to have a war council and discuss tomorrow's battle. All right, Bastion, I'm following you. Ominous music, not good. So the Black Knight's in that castle, is he? There's a little doubt of it. That beard's a real handful. Even when I attacked him in cat form, I barely scratched him. No, Ronald. I could hear the dink. You didn't scratch him. You did nothing. It's his armor. 
It's apparently blessed by the goddess. Ordinary weapons, natural or no, can't damage it. Oh, that's just swell. So how are we supposed to defeat him? Angry looks? I leave that to me. I got a sword that should be effective against him. I don't like it, but I suppose there's no choice. We don't use weapons or shields. Those are Bjork tools. Tools for Bjork alone. Very well. If the villain in question appears, we leave him to General Ike. Now then, shall we determine who among us storms the castle? Ike, can I talk to you? Not right now, Mist. We're discussing battle strategy. I know that. Even so, please, it'll only take a moment. Mist, I promise I'll make time later. Be patient and wait quietly. Uh, uh... What is it, O beauteous one? I feel a bit dizzy. May I rest a moment? Oh, what foul deed is that... Is, is this that rears its head? The gods of war do charge a heavy toll, bewitch us and attack our very minds. The princess, she is faint and overtired. Forgive your humble servant this trespass. Hark, my dear, and bless me with your arm. Good folk, we shall retire for a spell. Of course, princess, please rest and allow us to proceed with these preparations. Thank you. I'm sorry. What is it? Uh... Come on, miss. Do you realize the princess was making time for you to talk with me, don't you? Well, uh, I thought I could talk to you later, but then I changed my mind and wanted to talk to you now. I've been hoping to talk to you too. I haven't heard very much from you since the other day. Yeah, I'm sorry. Also, nice remix of the, um, of the Gallery of Rebirth. I really like it. It's a really nice touch. Anyway. When you told us that story, I was so shocked. That's why. The part about mother's death. And about father, right? Uh-huh. That's only natural. So, you have come to some kind of understanding with it all? Is that it? As, at first, I couldn't believe it. The stuff about the medallion and the revival of the Dark God of all that? None of it... None of it sounded real. And everything about father... That was even more unbelievable. It's all I could think about. But... But I didn't want to think about it anymore. It made my head hurt. I didn't know what to do. I couldn't even sleep. I would just lie awake at night and stare at the tense wall. Yeah, I was the same way. I guess my body finally reached its limit. Last night I fell asleep. And when I woke up this morning, I don't know, it was all gone. I only had one emotion left. One emotion? What was it? It's hard to say. Sympathy, I suppose. For mother? Uh-huh. And for father. I think more for him than anyone else. Father and mother were in love, weren't they? And then the medallion. It made father go, what did you say, berserk? When he returned to himself, he found mother. Well, when, when his father died, it hurt so much, I thought I was going to die. Father must have felt the same. No, he must have felt even worse. I think you're right. And father kept it all to himself, too. Mother, the medallion, being haunted. He never said a word to us. It was his burden alone. The man who killed father was that night we saw in Portoa, right? The one in the black armor. Yes. You're going to fight him, aren't you? For father. Yes, I am. That's one thing I won't let anyone else do in my stead. Trying to stop you is pointless, I know. If I were stronger, if I were a sword fighter, I'd be doing the same thing. Well, as much as I appreciate the thought mist, here's the thing. You already are a sword fighter. Differently than Ike, yes. But even then, you wouldn't be able to deal any damage to the Black Knight, and only Ike can use the Ragnall, so... yeah. I do appreciate the thought. Mist. But you must keep your promise. You promised to lead the company in Father's place and to protect me. If you go and get yourself killed, I'll never forgive you. I understand. That's why I'm not going to lose. I know. Ah. I must say, I also like the touches about Mist's expression change so much. It's really, really, uh, really nice. Not gonna lie. How are you feeling, Princess? It was a lie. 
I'm not feeling unwell at all. I'm sorry I fooled you. Ah, uh, I knew it all along. It was all for Ike and Mist, was it not? It would appear, my dear princess, that you care for them greatly. I witnessed the death of both my father and mother. Soldiers fell one after the other, and then I... I was separated from Joffrey. It was Ike and his friends who rescued me. If not for them, I'm sure I would be dead now. My lord Ike and Miss too know the pain that I carry with me. The pain of losing one's parents in war. That may account for why the two of them, right from the beginning, were so warm and friendly. They gave me the support I needed to survive. Mist and I have continuously encouraged each other to go on. So... They rescued you and are your patrons. There are those among the soldiers who complain in jealousy of Ike's station, but... It is a trivial matter. We, the retainer of House Crimea, find this general very much to our liking. Bastion, I'm pleased to hear it. Yeah, Bastion. Your silver tongue may be annoying and all, but you're a cool dude. Enough plain speaking. I must ready my silver tongue anew. Shall we return to the council? Yes. Ah, <sighs> What a swell, dude. Also, this story exposition actually took a little longer than I thought, but... Eh, what can I say? Hello there, Black Knight. Ugh. Sir Knight, the Crimean army will renew their assault of the castle momentarily. The troops we face are not the half-breeds we fought yesterday. It is the army that bested General Bertram. They are not what one would call an easy opponent. Hm. <laughs> Resolve it. I beg your pardon? Hathel, you are in command. The castle defenses are on your shoulders. I have business with General Lena. Understood. And he lives in the, for the next door. So apparently we have to get there, huh? Well, that's all fine and dandy on my case. Also, wait a second here. Okay, everything seems to be working in order. I was just checking my computer, I'm sorry. Is everyone ready? The castle strength has been bolstered with reinforcements from the capital. We must strike now before any more can arrive. If the Black Knight appears, do not try to engage him. He is mine. I'll take care of him. Alright, this is the po this is the part where I actually switch to the other file. And here I am. So, I'm going to show you the units I'm going to bring, those being Alinsha, Rayson, Nefni, Rolf, Mist, Jill, Oscar, Kieran, Soren, and Volki. I'll drop Astrid for this one, as I figure I won't really need her all that much. So, yeah. Okay, so here's the thing. You see Ike's stats? Those are not going to matter a whole lot against the Black Knight. I'm going to explain the reason when I get to him. But ideally, I would like him to get a couple of levels while I'm still in this map. That way, I need to reach 54 HP at the very least. If I can get 3 level and get to 55, that would be ideal. Because uh, with these stats, the Black Knight would be able to deal 19 damage to me. And with Luna, he's going to deal, um, he's going to deal 34, adding an extra 15. So, just in case, I need two more HP in order to be uh, somewhat safe, in order to actuate my strategy. So, yeah. And getting that final point of speed to cap him is going to be, like, secondary, because as long as the Black Knight doesn't double Ike, it's fair game. And since the Black Knight has a speed of, um, I think it's 27? So, as long as Ike has more than 24, uh, more than 23 speed, he is more than fine anyway. Okay, so, I gave some stays to Elisha, especially the recover staff, not much else to say. Uh, the equipment on my other dudes hasn't changed all that much. I did, um... Nah, I don't need to unmurn the Sonic Sword again in this map. Like, for what it matters. <laughs> and... Yeah, my equipment is pretty much the same as before. So, I wanted to give Soren the uh, Bolting Tome, but he's still not C rank, unfortunately, and I don't have anything else to spare. Okay, so my strategy for this map is fairly simple. 
I will be sending Ike on the side, taking care of the vast majority of all these dudes. And I think I need to send someone like Rolf in support, because you see this thief? Take a look at what he has. Yes, he has and drops the S rank bow of this game, the double bow. The double bow is essentially a better longbow, basically. Compared to the longbow, this thing has two extra might and one extra range. This thing can attack at four range. It's actually insane. The only downfall is that it cannot retaliate at two or three range. It can only attack on four, so... It's a player face bow, basically. And it's pretty powerful, so... Rolf will definitely make good use of it, considering he already has S rank. Then... I will send the vast majority of my units up here, taking care of this Swordmaster, as well as this cat. Reason being, I can send them to the right, towards these guys, but they will come to me anyway, so I will have time to take care of them a little bit at a time. Alright, I already did my positioning, so it's time to roll out. Okay, so in case I actually you will wonder why I keep the visual like this, is because I want to see better. Okay, so what I need to do first, first hand, is actually make sure that no one will be able to attack Raisin. So I'll put Ike here. Wait. Then I'm going to chant. And as long as I put, like, Ike one tile, uh, one tile ahead, he'll be able to block this guy, because this guy is the only other one with this that can actually reach. So, take a look at what I'm going to do. Uh, you can use the Steel Blade for these guys, like, what, look at that. Four hit, four hit, zero might. Good luck. Ideally, I would love, I would like in the first turn to actually leave the, all these enemies to Ike. And I could most certainly do so, since Raisin is now out of range. Although, I do want Rolf to be a little closer, so some of the enemies will definitely go for him. And what I would like to do, really, is um, taking no chances and killing this guy. Yeah. I already know how this is going to go. The fighter above Rolf will attack him, while the one with the bow will attack Ike. It's pretty straightforward, really. Now then, on this turn, I would like Soren to attack the cat. And again, like in the other test, I actually made one fatal miscalculation. I should have given him the Laguz Guard, more on, um, you know, insurance kind of thing. I have two, and I'm not equipping any to anyone, so that's actually pretty stupid of me. Then, my dear boy Oscar here will take care of the, the majority of enemies here. And... Actually, I need to use the Brave Lance on this one. Alas and alack. And it's a good thing that he actually managed to um, to hit him twice. Okay, so what I want to do with Oscar right now is put him here so that he will, yes, be in range of the cat, but as well as in range of these two armor knights. He won't be able to kill them, most likely, but at the same time, I need to make sure that this cat, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, this cat will not be able to attack Soren, so a little bit of rescue strats is in order. I'm, s I'm still happy I managed to give um, the savior skill to um, to Jill. I think it's actually pretty nice to have on her. Okay, so I'll leave the site completely open, as I know for a fact that my units will attack all of them next turn. So, yeah. So for now, I'll just position my unit in such a way that I'm out of range of um, this guy. Yeah. Also, I need to highlight this one, because I want to keep Volky far out of range. That bolting guy can actually hurt him quite a lot. Like, he will deal... you will leave him with 4 HP. It's that strong. Units... Chances are that if I do this, he'll mostly attack Kieran, since he has the lowest resistance. And just in case, I'll put Nefni here, uh, with the Javelin, why not? And let's see how turn one rolls in. Okay, so no, the Bolting Mage goes for Oscar. All for the better. 
Oscar has enough avoidance to actually allow himself to do that. Okay, so now the enemies are moving in fast. But it's not my concern, really. Okay, so both the enemies went for... Uh, no, he went exactly as I predicted. And that's good for me. Alright, so... I have a... I already know what I'm going to do next turn, which is... Uh, Fine and dandy. Now, if Oscar can manage to dodge all this, these attacks, he's actually going to make a uh, mean smith out of that Swordmaster that already moved. Okay, let's see what this level up has in store for him. HP, strength, speed. Okay, strength now is capped, my friends. Oscar is so good. He's so good. And more speed means more avoidance, so I'm game. <laughs> now, I don't really like um, I don't really like the fact that I'm going. I'm using the brave lance a lot. Okay, I can send the silver lance to the combo. I don't need that. 